do patty cake. Patty cake? Let's do patty cake. Let's do patty cake. Look, we'll go do fox. Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Baker's hand. Baker's hand. Well, I'm afraid I don't have any cakes, but I do have nice cool drinks for the grown-ups. And as for you, my wee one, it's way past your bedtime. Oh, I know, it's late. But we're just having so much fun. Having fun? Speak for yourself, isn't that right? Who knew the patty cake required a master's degree? No. Oh. What a shame you can't play with your own little tight this way, eh, Fox? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject, but, oh, it's just so tragic to me that you and, and your Aunt Sheridan are going to miss out on so many times with your, your own children. We don't know that Sheridan won't get Marty back. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, you haven't heard yet. Well, Fox's grandfather, Alistair, appears to have helped Beth to escape from Harmony. I mean, and maybe even from the country with little Marty. Freak. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. No, don't, don't apologize on my account. I have no love lost for my grandfather. I just, I just can't believe he'd do something like that to Sheridan, you know, break her heart like that. It's his daughter. Oh, yes, but it seems that Beth is his biological daughter as well. Does that mean that... She's your aunt, folks? Beth I... Wallace is Alistair Crean's daughter? How did that happen? I was quite a luscious little morsel in my day, honey. It's no wonder that Alistair couldn't resist me now. I'm not sure he could resist me now if I put my mind to living old times, you know? <laughs> Mrs. Wallace, you look so... Hot, honey. Word is hot. And I feel it, too, because I got a bone here to pick with your buddy chum Tabitha. You cost me... Two young, handsome men this evening. <laughs> now, of course, I see that there's an even cuter one standing right over here. Oh, Hi. boy. Foxy, 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 foxy. <laughs> now, I know that you and Beth are related. But, honey, you know, you and I are not. <laughs> hey. I'm going to leave you two alone. Yeah? I'm going to go check out Marty. <laughs> okay. uh, that's probably need... Uh, I gotta go. I, I gotta. Wait. Hey there. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I really, I don't know what's got into her today. Oh, I do, honey. <laughs> He's got a certain, you know, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je ne sais what? Quoi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. All right. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you okay. then. All right. Bye. Okay. <laughs> They can't hear us now. What is the idea of you setting me up with those two rats tonight? Oh, dear. I was hoping you'd be finished with those two before midnight. <laughs> Tabitha, we were just getting warmed up, and then the two of them go scurrying out of the blue note like an exterminator walked in the door. I want the man you promised me, honey. <laughs> Edna, you are so crass. Ah, well... All right, maybe I am crass, but I'm not a witch. Shh, you don't want me blowing your dark secret, Mr. You better be pulling some magic out of a hat right now, and I want you ripping me up something really tasty. <laughs> All right. We'll see what we can do, right? Okay. <laughs> this isn't quite what I had in mind, but it'll do until the real thing comes along. I always had a soft spot in my heart for tequila. <laughs>